look, this is interesting. The pledge of Alexander the Great in 324 BC. How much does this sound like the New World Order? Now, with the end of the wars, I wish you to be happy with peace. All the mortals henceforth to live as an harmonized people for the common prosperity. Consider the world, your country, with common laws where will govern the best men independently from the race. I do not separate the men in Greeks or Barbarous. I am not interested in the origin of the citizens, nor the race in which they were born. I share them out with only one criterion, the worth. Sounds like human rights in the United Nations. For me, every good foreign is Greek and every bad Greek is worse than Barbarous. You must not consider God as an autocratic governor, but as a common father of all. Wow, one world, wow, interesting. In order your behavior to look like the life which do the brothers in the family. From my side, I consider all equal, white and dark skinned, and I would like you not only to be citizens of my common wealth, but participants and partners. Interesting, isn't it? It's the same pattern, the same system. The sun up there. Same thing as Babylon, Greece, the Greek Empire, Roman, Egyptian Empire. But it's the same system, the same thing back to the root of Babylon, of this, um, you know, Antichrist system. And this was 324 BC. And with this Antichrist figure, it's a pattern of prophecy. You know, there, there's been many figures that have arisen throughout the last few centuries and millennia who have fit much of the profile of the Antichrist figure. And uh, this pattern, which we've seen in, in, in King Herod himself, so think about that, King Herod himself uh, with his temple, the one with the temple, he was the one that went to hunt the children uh, to hunt Christ to try and kill all the children under a certain age because of the prophecy of the coming of the Messiah. Well, this pattern, think about this pattern of the Antichrist and the hunt, you know, the hunt for Christians we're told about in, in the Bible. You know, this same pattern from right from the beginning there with King Herod and the Antichrist of the last days, of course, Hitler and, and others have fit the same description and um, Nero and others have fit this pretty similar description of the Antichrist. Uh, so this is a pattern of prophecy. It's a living word. God's word is living. You know, it's been active throughout all of the centuries and is still just as active today. So the prophecies we read and the types and typologies that we see in the Bible of this occurring and sudden destruction and false peace and an Antichrist, this is the same prophecy which uh, is reaching its pinnacle, its climax in the last days. This is, we don't waste this time, folks, because everyone can see that, you know, the, the days are changing very fast. Don't waste this time. We only get this time once. So we're, you know, when everything comes to a conclusion, we will see the final fulfillment of everything uh, you know, of, of this evil agenda, but also the true king who will come back and reign with true peace from Jerusalem uh, for the millennium. And this is the pattern of prophecy we're seeing. And uh, praise God for the final fulfillment of the hope in Jesus Christ who will return and put an end to all of this evil counsel, uh, to all of the agendas of the secret societies and the, the United Nations and Rome and will be the true, true fulfillment of salvation and redemption in Jesus Christ, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's what we have to hope towards. Uh, make sure you're on the right side. God bless.